The first thing we're going to do is prepare the surface where we have a damaged part and we've got damage going through the part. We, if we don't know the materials, we need to identify them. So the step sander can be used for these discovery activities. We take a 3M VHB wipe. Okay. And what we're going to do is rotate the cutter just a small amount so that we get a movement of about 40 millimeters so that we get an area close to the center of the repair for our detection activities. Okay, so all we're going to do is just put a mark at two different points onto the jig. Now, connecting up with the jig. At this point, the jig is at zero. So we're going to take out lock nut, and for detection activities, if you're unsure of the depth of the materials, you can just increase it a fraction of a millimetre at a time. We're going to go with 0.1 of a millimetre per, per check. Okay. Just nip that up. Okay, we're going to take our boom arm. We are compressed air and vacuum fittings. We've got a hose stop at the end, which prevents dust from falling out of the hose. This needs to be connected to the air tool. Okay. And last of all, we have our vacuum connection. Okay, with a safety venting type connection, so that, okay. Okay, at this stage, we're ready to use our tool. We've got our depth check set. We're gonna rotate the tool around so you can see it. So, we've got the extractor set to auto starting. So we're going to lift up the tool clear of the part, start up the tool, press it down, and then just rotate it, keeping it up against the jig, So what we're doing here is removing a small increment of material at a time. In this instance, 0.1 of a millimeter. I'm going to then continue to adjust the depth. So back it off. I can start to see where my material is, okay. and I can keep a note on my materials and my depth. <laughs> so in this instance, we can see we've removed gel coat. We're down down to 0.3 of a millimeter. We can still see some damage. And we're now into the first layer. This first layer is a very fine resin rich layer. It's actually a veil, a tissue against a gel coat, okay, with our damage below. So we would note that damage, the material and the depth, while we continue our discovery activities. We're still in the veil. Okay, we can see some crack damage in there. We increase our depth furthermore. Okay, so you can see the veil and the crack damage beneath it, lamin damage, further laminates. We're now going to increase the setting
start to see we're into chop strand mats coming up. Now see the chop strand mat layer, okay, and damage within that layer. There's no dust or debris around. Okay. We can now see we've hit a biaxial material. Okay, where we've just tucked through the second layer and just left a bit of the first, and we've got our stitching fiber running across. So as we go through and remove the damage, we can see that we're also identifying all our materials. We're now starting to go through to the plain woven. The plain woven material is the material at the back of our part as we start to break through it. Okay. 